आई कीप इंटरेक्टिंग विथ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल हु आर डूइंग जॉब हंटिंग ओके एंड देर आर सम कॉमन मिस्टेक्स विच मोस्ट ऑफ दीज पीपल कीप रिपीटिंग इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर फाइव सच मिस्टेक्स विच मेनी ऑफ द जॉब हंटर्स आउट देयर स्पेशली फ्रेशर्स कीप रिपीटिंग एंड आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू अवॉयड दीज मिस्टेक्स एंड डोंट डू दीज मिस्टेक्स बिकॉज दिस विल बी ए हिंड्रेंस इन योर जॉब सर्चिंग जर्नी ओके इफ यू आर ए फ्रेशर प्लीज एंश्योर यू लिसन टू ऑल दीज फाइव पॉइंट्स केयरफुली एंड इम्प्लीमेंट इट योर जॉब हंटिंग विल बी ईजियर एंड स्मूथर ओके लेट स्टार्ट गाइज विद द फर्स्ट पॉइंट the very first point is how many times in a interview or how many times when you interact with someone you use the word fresher please keep a mind on that please keep a watch on that okay because as an interviewer or as a you know hiring manager or as somebody who wants to hire someone in my team or in my project or in my company i don't want to hear fresher 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 again and again okay now there is a psychology why people say this again and again especially the job hunters they think that this will work for them because they are setting the expectation threshold lower they think that if they say i am a fresher people will ask them easier questions they think that if i say i am a fresher they will think that okay this guy is a fresher you know let's not ask him lot of things in the interview but no it doesn't work in that way what you are showcasing is one of your weakness so being a fresher is obviously a weakness you don't have industry exposure so what you are doing is showcasing your weakness now tell me from your understanding in an interview you should showcase your weaknesses or strengths more you should obviously showcase your strengths more being a fresher is a negative thing in your profile try to hide it as much as possible but what people do what mistake people do they try to always highlight it i am a fresher i am a fresher i am a fresher don't highlight it suppose there are 10 people standing in a queue i have to select two people out of them and let's say eight people keep saying i am a fresher i am a fresher these two people are also fresher but they just say that yeah my resume says i am a fresher but if you give me a task i can do it i can get things done for you and they don't say again and again that they are a fresher which two people i will take right so always hide your you know negatives of your profile and highlight positives of your profile highlight your work and don't say again and again that you are a fresher that is point number 1 point number 2 is regarding emails and checking your spam folder many times what will happen is some people will send you email that will go in your spam okay so make it a habit of searching your Uh, uh, opening your spam at frequent intervals what may happen is some important email may go into the spam that is problem number 1 so it happens with me also so there is a form in the description of this video where people can uh, get in touch with me if they want a one on one on one mentoring session that is obviously chargeable but suppose 10 people fill that form in one day and i i send mail to 10 people what may happen sometimes google does it automatically google thinks that it's some spam email okay they will put in the spam and then you you may never see my email or in that case a recruiter's email or somebody's email so please spam and advertisement and promotion those folders also check and one very important thing in email please have the alert on for gmail app in your phone or whatever email you are using so you have alerts for whatsapp you have alerts for other apps right similarly alert for email should be on in your phone so that if there are some emails which needs an immediate response you can do that as you know many people are doing job hunting with you so you are competing with many people so you should be on top of things if if somebody is sending email reply immediately okay third point i want to talk about is uh traditional versus non traditional ways of job searching so what is traditional way of job searching putting your profile in nokri monster different job portals and thinking that somebody will call you and you will get a interview what is non traditional way of job searching i have told in this video five different ways to remove freshers tag from your profile please watch this video and try to see how you can remove fresher tag from your profile 
it is extremely important to do that because you don't want to say that i am a fresher rather you want to say something else okay so don't think that you will upload profile you will get calls and interview will happen no it may not work like that so think little advance be one step ahead of the market and think how you can get get opportunities faster okay next thing what i want to talk about is comes from my recent experience one of the person i was talking um, doesn't have a linkedin profile at all okay and it is like you know um, not having a linkedin profile is not acceptable if you are doing a job search or job hunting even if you are a student you should have a linkedin profile you should start building network okay so if you don't build a network right then how things will work for you don't don't think in months and years somewhere i read this very nice quote think in decades okay so if if you are on linkedin and if you have a very good good network right not today only not tomorrow only maybe after 5 years after 10 years that network will help you okay so suppose you want to move to a new country you want to move to let's say netherlands okay for some job opportunities and if you have some connections in netherlands does it harm or does it benefit you understand the power of network it will not happen in one day network will grow slowly but keep growing that keep growing that keep growing that through linkedin so that you have a very good connections it will help you in job hunting it will help you in social network building it will help you in relocation kind of things it will help you in learning it will help you in many many aspects okay be on linkedin and increase your network and last and not least fifth point i want to cover here is don't blindly follow someone else's path so i speak to people people say that hey i watched a video somebody told they became a data analyst in 3 months this is what they did and they got a job see many people will not tell you lot of things what goes inside okay somebody got a data analyst job that also means that he or she might have a very good referral which you may, may not have somebody got in 3 months maybe he or she has lot of experience in python programming language so they don't need to see python at all somebody got become data scientist in 3 months maybe he or she is from statistics background they are very very strong in statistics so zero work needs to be done on everything related to statistics right and what happens if you follow their path blindly who will come on some youtube video and say all these things you may get frustrated you may think that people are doing in 3 months i am not able to do in 6 months right so your journey is only your journey your story is only your story and your job hunting is only your job hunting okay define your path follow learn from others but don't blindly follow someone else's trajectory that they have done that and they got this and step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 doesn't work like that okay try to learn from experiences but your path will be always unique i wanted to cover these five pointers guys and just to reiterate understand the power of emails don't reiterate you are a fresher 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 build network don't blindly follow someone else's path and remove fresher tag as soon as possible don't ever use word fresher in any interaction okay i'll see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care please give me a thumbs up if you like this video thank you so much for watching